Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Epcot. Today is a big day. It's the first day of the 100th anniversary celebrations here at Epcot, and so we're here. We want to check it out. We want to take you with us. So get yourself ready. Grab yourself a nice cold beverage and uh, see what fun we can get ourselves into today. We have some other things to talk about, too, so let's get into it. Now, there are a few different things happening today throughout the park, but the first thing I want to show you real quick is Journey of Water. Now, it hasn't opened yet, not officially. However, the walls are coming down and we can kind of see it. I'm really excited for this, but we're gonna talk about that some other time. Now, I'm really looking forward to Journey of Water, but that's not what today is about. We'll get a chance to preview that here in a few days. Today, like I said, we're focusing on all of this new stuff for the 100th. Now, there are a few things that we're actually passing by right now. So over in the land, Soren has been transformed from Soren around the world into Soren over California. I am looking forward to doing that, but currently it's a 30 minute wait, which isn't bad, but I don't wanna be inside right now. It's beautiful out. We'll save that for later when it's a little bit warmer. We also have a new statue, some banners, and I think there's a mural over here by the Imagination Pavilion, if memory serves me right. When they normally do murals, they're back here by the bathroom, so let's go check that out and see if it's back there. We don't have a mural back here, but we do have restrooms, by the way. If you didn't know there are restrooms back here, great place to stop. Also have some work happening over here. All right, let's check other parts of the Imagination Pavilion and see if we can find this mural. So we don't have anything up here either, although we have these weeping fountains. I love these fountains. Anyway, I wonder if I misread the information, which is totally possible. Either way, we'll keep an eye out for now. We're gonna make our way this direction. Keep our eye out for that Platinum Mickey statue. I think I know where it's gonna be. Let's see if we can find that. So I think when we come around this corner, we should see the Mickey, because I think this is where it's gonna be. Will it be here? Oh, I think that's it. There it is. There is our Platinum Mickey Mouse. It looks just kind of gray to me, though. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Oh, I look a little disheveled. I almost just got killed by a duck. I think it was... Well, he's not here anymore, but it was ugly. If I was chatting with you, this would have been one of those viral videos where people are like, vlogger almost gets murdered by a Disney duck midday at the park. So I was referring to the notes that I took about everything coming to the park here for the Disney 100 anniversary like kind of celebration. I do hesitate to call it a celebration. It's more like decorations coming to the park and less like a celebration. But that's basically what we've seen with the 50th, the Epcot 40th, and now with this 100 year celebration. There is a mural and I wasn't sure where it was because it did say something about the Imagination Pavilion, but I just, I just found it. It's, it's not in the Imagination Pavilion at all. It's kind of on the walkway to World Showcase. So we'll go check that out. But I do want to say before we like continue on, I know that people get really excited about these celebrations and they can sometimes be pretty lackluster. So you have to make the best of them. You get to really enjoy what is available. Speaking of that, you can also go meet Mickey and Minnie in their 100 special outfits over at the Imagination Pavilion as well, up by those leaping fountains. Currently wait time is about 20 minutes. Maybe we'll go meet them today. Maybe we'll save it for another day. I mean, look at me, I almost got killed by a Disney duck. So there's the mural over there. But before we make our way there, I wanna just say hello to this figment statue. It has been repainted gold. These used to be iridescent and they're all getting repainted gold. The 50th logo has been removed. So it's just another one of the changes that we're seeing here at the parks. If we move away from the 50th. Oh, there's the monorail. And here we have some of these banners. They are all over the park. I think they're cute. The color scheme for this event is like platinum, obviously, white and purple. The merchandise is really cute. It's been out for a while. We'll keep an eye out, see what merch is currently available, show you just in case you're interested in checking any of it out. Kind of taking the long way around to that mural, but there's really no good way to get to it. Oh wow, you can really see 
tank is all shiny because the sun is facing her. Really cool. Looks like we got some more of these banners right here. We have Daisy. You wouldn't have attacked me, Daisy, would you? I mean, not like that other duck over there. It was a very traumatic experience. Anyway, let's keep walking. I want to check out that mural. Oh, look, we have these really neat little medallions over here leading us back into future world, world celebration. And then over here, this is Swirled Showcase. This is the new booth that will be coming. It's not here quite yet, but I'm looking forward to that and seeing everything that they have over there. All right, so here we are coming up upon that mural. Let's take a look at what it says. So here on this mural, it looks like there are a bunch of characters kind of mingling. How cool is that? That right there is... Is she a princess? I'm not entirely sure. I haven't looked all the way into her yet, but she's from the Wish. All right, let's see who else we can find here. Animal. I love Animal. Oh, Lady of the Tramp. That looks like my bandit right there. Then we have Moana. Beaker and Honeydew. Look at this. Merlin. Check it out. Kitchen Cabaret. This is such a cool mural. I'm not going to show you everything so you can discover different characters on your own. But it is so cool. So we're right behind Platinum Mickey now. We've made the loop. Now I want to head into Creation Shop and see if there's any new 100th merch for us to check out. There is a new popcorn bucket. I think it's available right here, which is why this line is so long. Yep, there it is. Purple balloon bucket. I'm not really interested in that popcorn bucket though. But check it out. The new Epcot merch has arrived. This is pretty exciting because I wasn't expecting this merchandise to be here today. So now we can take a look. I love this new Epcot reimagined collection. So much of it is so cute. No, it's fun. Spirit jersey is really cute. It kind of reminds me of that Play Disney set that they had. Oh goodness, how long ago was that? Views. Check that out. Super cute. Let's see what else we can find. The Dooney and Burke is here. Oh, and they have this button down. Oh, this feels nice. Nice and lightweight. How much is this button down? $59.99 for this. Really cute. Looks like they also have a more feminine version of that shirt as well. Same material. It's got the tie in the front. That's really cute. This one is $39.99. Then we have a few different versions of the Stooney and Burke as well. That's really cute. I really like that bag. These can be expensive though, so let's see if we can find a price tag here that's easily accessible on one of them. Uh, here we go. So this one is $268. And then this one over here, which is a different style of bag, is $298. So between two and three hundred dollars for a Dooney and Burke, generally speaking, no matter what you're really looking at. But anyway, we're looking for hundredth merch, so let's like see what we can find. All right, here we are, hundred years of wonder. Take a look at the merchandise that is available now. This merchandise has been around for a while. Of course, I dropped something. That's all right, we got it fixed. Anyway, like I was saying, this stuff has been around for a while. So, you've probably seen it before, but we still wanna take a second and show you what's around, see if there's anything new. These Dooney and Burks are relatively new. Again, we talked about the price point a second ago. I love this class. It's really cute. Not for me, but really cute. We also have some kids' clothes. I do like this shirt right here. It says Walt Disney World 
on the back. Of course, we got the Crocs for $64.99 and some ears. How do you guys feel about plastic ears like this? These are kind of heavy and I don't know. Just not for me, but they might be for you. Let's see, they light up. Look how cute. I do think things that light up are fun. Things that light up and glow in the dark. We have some more hoodies over here. I do like this one. This one is embroidered. The other one I showed you is embroidered as well. It is $69.99, so some embroidery there. And then we have some silver print here. Then that 100 Years of Wonder logo on the back. Got some more sparkly ears over here. These are so much lighter. I would go for these versus those light up ones. Got the lounge fly and the t-shirt. This is probably my favorite t-shirt in this collection. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not crazy about any of this stuff, which is why I don't have any of it yet. But just because I don't like it doesn't mean that you won't. So let's keep looking. Oh, here's another set of ears. These are super cute. Let's see if I can show you in the light. There they are. These are nice, huh? They have all the characters on them. Really cute. I do like that. They do have some toys as well. So we have this Mickey Mouse who is very tall and lean. He's all prepped for the park though. He's got his headphone, camera, popcorn, sipper. Let's see, this is $39.99. Got the spirit jersey over here which is really cute. This one is $89.99, so a little bit more expensive. It is sparkly. Got an all-over print, which is also nice. Okay, one thing I really love as part of this 100 Years of Wonder collection is the Souvenir Medallion book. I wish they had these all year long. So the Souvenir Medallions are these affordable little medallions. They're like coins, and you can collect them, but there's really nowhere to put them, and this book gives you a place to put them. It's kind of like a trading card holder book, you know? It collects all your coins. This is $24.99, so it's a little pricey. I would like to see it a little bit more affordable, but I do think that that's cool, and I wish that they had one that wasn't just 100 years of wonder. So lots of stuff that we've seen before, you know? Not a lot of new stuff so far. Got some treats over here. Chocolate coins, I love chocolate coins. I am such a child, and I am fine with that. Then we have plushies. We have these, which are really cute. $34.99 for Mickey, Minnie, Chip, and Dale. And then we have these that are like all over holographic, you know? These are $29.99, and you have only Mickey and Minnie of this. Now we do have some other new stuff that I haven't had a chance to show you. This was released a few days ago. This is kind of an Epcot thing. This is a new statue that will be released here soon. I got a lot to say about that. We'll talk about it some other time, but we do have some pins from the new Epcot, the new Epcot collection. Let me see if I can show you a little bit better. Isn't that cool? So there's Figment. Then we do have this blind box set here. A few different characters that you can get. This blind box is $20 for two pins, and that single Figment pin is $14.99. And then here we have, oh, this is really cool. This is a four pin set for $34.99, which is a decent price. That's what you're gonna pay for these. And it looks like they have all the different quote unquote lands now. So World Discovery, World Showcase, World Celebration, and World Nature. That's pretty cool. All right, so we've made our way back to the front of the park. And I think that about does it for this little adventure today. I wanted to take you around and show you some of what's available for the 100 Years of Wonder celebrated here at Walt Disney World. And that's basically what we did. Now, did we take a look at a lot? Yes. Did we see everything? No. Like I mentioned, over at the land, we have Soarin' Over California right now. And the line's still a pretty good one, although that's to be expected this early in the day anyway. I do think that we can get on without having such a long wait. So we pass on that for right now. We're going to be coming back later anyway, though, and this is going to be here for some time. So there's really no rush to do it today on the first day, just to say that we did. But if you're here, now you know. You can enjoy Sora Nova California. And when we do come out and check that out, I am looking forward to telling you all about it. And Russ is really looking forward to that, too. So I'm wondering what he's going to have to say. I think it'll be fun to kind of give you our first 
ride on that attraction because neither of us have ever done it before. And of course, we also have a new light show coming to Spaceship Earth starting tonight to celebrate the 100 years of wonder. Now, of course, it's still early, so the light show isn't going yet, but we'll be back and we will check it out and we'll take you with us. I mean, of course we will. Now, there are bound to be some other fun things popping up around the park for the 100 years of wonder. There are likely to be some fun food options. Nothing crazy though, nothing too special. Although, I mean, it's all how you look at it. But I don't think that if you're coming here and you're gonna be here for this 100 Years of Wonder celebration that you should expect anything too huge, too exciting. It's just a little bit of an enhancement, similar to what we saw for the 50th and similar to what we saw for Epcot's 40th anniversary, which is pretty much been erased because it's about to be up. October 1st would be 41st anniversary. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed wandering around the park with me regardless. And honestly, it turned out to be pretty awesome because we did get a chance to see that new merchandise, which I didn't think was gonna be released today. They said that it was gonna be coming soon, but I didn't see a date on the announcement. So that was a pretty cool surprise. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Anyway, let's head out. I've got a question that I wanna ask you about. So let's talk about that on the way to the Jeep making our way out and I just noticed there's a sign there that says that the trams are not operating. At first I was wondering if that's because they actually weren't running at all but I can hear them beeping on the other side so I think it just depends on what side you're on. Because we're over here on the space side and trams are not running so. It's honestly just a good reminder that Trams aren't necessarily guaranteed anywhere. We've talked about this before and we're gonna talk about it again soon. While Disney does offer trams, they don't have trams from some of the closest parking lots, even though they're set up to have trams in these parking lots. And this is especially important to keep in mind if you're deciding on staying on property or off property, especially if you're planning on driving yourself, especially if you're gonna be spending a lot of time at Magic Kingdom. But that's a discussion for another day. We have to talk all about transportation, so we'll get to it. But what I wanna ask you now, because I said there was a question I had for you guys, is how do you feel about celebrations like this? You know, like little enhancements to the park for the 100th or for the 50th. I'd love to know what you have to say about that. And even for Epcot 40, how do you feel about that type of celebration? Do you like it because it's something different? Or do you wish that it was a bit more? You know, I have to be completely honest with you. I, I don't know where I stand on this, you know? On one hand, I love that it's something, but on the other hand, I feel like so many of the things that have been done recently have been so lackluster that I'm like, I guess I'm just happy with anything, right? Which is not a good way to be, at least not in my opinion. Again, I want, I want to know how you guys feel about this. What do you guys think? I personally would have loved to see the celebration take place at Magic Kingdom, but I also kind of feel like because of the 50th just ending and really not being anything too special. It would be weird to have this there, but I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. I do think that it makes sense to do it here. Kind of, I don't know. Again, I would love to hear what you have to say, but as you can see, I am dripping. It is hot. Let's get this Jeep on and the AC going. But yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts on this. I love to have these types of conversations, so leave them in the comments down below. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, so you don't miss any of our future videos. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Who knows what we'll get up to. There's a lot going on, and we're not gonna miss any of it. Until then, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.